guys, I'm back <laughs> and I have a little life update for you uh, today because I have moved. <laughs> I've moved out of Berlin, I've moved down south to southern Germany and I'm living now in a, a tiny little town, uh, like a thousand people, just a little farming village. Um, and we've been here now for one week. Yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably have seen some of the work that we've done in the house. Um, it's kind of like a fixer-upper type situation. But yeah, I'm going to be basically building out a studio here. And this is actually the space. I'll show you more pictures in a second. But yeah, I sort of want to document the process of building out this space because I think it might be quite interesting for some people and um, I'm really excited to design a studio basically from scratch. So before I show you around, let me just answer a few questions that I know are going to come up. Um, the first one is we did not buy this house, we're actually renting. Um, it was just like the sensible thing to do for us and th at the moment, um, <laughs> as if we could afford a house. Yeah, and so where I am is uh, the basement of the house. So we have the, it's not even a house, it's actually like a flat. We're living on the first floor and then there's some people who live above us and then we have the basement as well and the garden, which is really awesome. I'm very excited about the garden. So yeah, if you're interested in more of that, li more like life style, like things about my life content, um, you'll find that over on Instagram. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm in the basement. I'm gonna have two rooms. One room is uh, 20 square meters and the other room is I think 13 square meters, something like that. Um, we have like so much basement space. So like 20 square meters would probably be enough, but I might as well, you know, spread out. Um, and yeah, why don't I just show you around? So here is the first room. This is going to be the main room. Um, yeah, this is the 20 square meter room. So it's the main room because we have number one, actual natural light. I've got the lights on right now, um, but more towards the afternoon, we got like a massive sunbeam coming through here. So it's gonna be really nice. And then we also have heating here. So the other room doesn't have heating. And as you can see, we've got some beautiful, um, very old and very gross wallpaper that needs to be um, partially removed and then partially just painted on. And then this wall was actually falling down, so my landlord fixed it for me. Um, and I've got to fill these gaps and obviously just paint it. Um, we also have no floor, so it's just a cement flooring right now. Um, I'm going to put in some laminate and yeah, I've never done that before, so that will be fun. Um, as well, of course, we need some, um, can't remember what they're called, some floorboards, like for the edges, just to cover up this wire. I think this is like a TV wire or something, but it's just traveling through the room and we need to cover that up. And then as well, we need to change out the lights. So actually, this is what I'm going to try and do today. I'm going to see if I can get these fluorescent lights down and see kind of like what's behind them. I have no idea anything about fluorescent lights. So um, hopefully it's just a normal plug situation. Well, like wiring situation. So I can install some LEDs. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this room. So if you go out to our glorious hallway, this is like a very German basement. It looks weird to me, but we have our other room. So we've got my kiln in here already. I've been doing some test firings to make sure that this kiln can actually reach temperature with this wiring. So um, this, the wiring in the house is all original. So this house is from the 80s and um, yeah, I was just a little worried that it would be able to handle a kiln, but it does. And this kiln is um, a 1220 volt, so it's just a tiny little one. Um, my old big kiln I sold to the folks who took over my studio in Berlin, and I just took this little one with me because I did not want to deal with installing like a high voltage um, electricity at the moment. Um, for now, I'm just going to you know use this little, I think it's 50 or 60 liter uh, kiln that just has a normal plug. And yeah, we do have some like technically natural light, but um, basically none. And here also has no heating. There is the connections for heating, um, but 
uh, yeah, that would be my responsibility to install and pay for. So I'm just going to leave it as it is now. I think it's summer, it's gonna be great. And this is also a pretty small room, sorry for the trash. This is all the packaging we used to um, transport the kiln. It was crazy, and we transported it on this big guy. Um, yeah, so it's this is the 13 square meter room, and so I'm planning on just doing glazing in here. Um, yeah, and obviously flooring, walls, just like before, and maybe a better light. This light's not so terrible as the other one. Can't see it, but it's glass and kind of like antique -y looking, but it is pretty dim. So, um, yeah, priority is the other room, honestly, because the other room is going to be the making room. And I could just glaze in that room for the time being. This room is just for the kiln, basically. So yeah, that's the situation that we're working with here. Um, flooring, walls, lights. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and take down these lights now and let's see if we can manage it. Okay, let it be known that the fuse box is turned off. <laughs> Oh no. How do you work? There we go. Fluorescent lights kind of scare me. Oh, but it looks like it's just a normal kind of outlet thing. By scare me, I just mean like, I don't really understand how they work and I know that you're supposed to dispose of them in a very specific way. But they're, they're just lights, right? If I die, it's caught on camera by doing something stupid. Awesome. Ta da! You see that? So that's something I can work with. That's something I know how to do. Okay, so the fluorescent lights are officially down. Um, one thing that I discovered, which is quite great, is that um, on one fluorescent light there was one light um, fixture, and on one there was two, and then there's actually an additional light fixture. Uh, See the little dot? That's got some more wires in it, so I could hang as many as four lights in here if I wanted to. Um, I don't think I need to, but um, it's really nice to have that possibility because my old studio had literally one and it was a massive space, so we had to you know, do all sorts of crazy things to make enough light in there. Um, so yeah, lights are down. Next step is paint. I just got the okay from my landlord to paint the ceiling. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I know, beautiful ceiling, right? But the ceiling is pretty low. I can almost touch it and I'm super short. Um, so I think I'm gonna paint the ceiling. Um, before that, I need to quickly fill the holes in the wall there that might need to dry. Um, yeah, that's that. <laughs> um, now I've got my Maler Acryl. <laughs> um, I have no idea what this is called in English, maybe caulk. Basically, I'm going to fill the holes on this wall so I can paint over them. This thing is super hard to squish. I'm gonna have monster forearms after this.
So I realized pretty quick that um, the gaps in the drywall are pretty wide and that means I have to actually do two layers, I think, because right now, like, there's like this much space behind the drywall. So the caulk is just kind of like falling through <laughs> like and down. Um, so I'm just kind of doing like a loose layer of the caulk to kind of fill it and then I'll, or like create a barrier and then I'm going to go in and fill it using that barrier as support. Um, so it's supposed to set up in about 15 minutes. I'm going to come back and finish off then. Um, and yeah, and then it needs to set up apparently for 24 hours before I can paint over it. So let me finish this. And if I'm feeling ambitious, I'm going to get started on painting the ceiling and the walls now today uh but maybe not maybe i'll just do that tomorrow so yeah okay guys so i actually ended up putting two more coats of that caulk um in but now it's pretty smooth so i just need to let it dry out for 24 hours and then i can go back in with paint and paint it and paint the rest of the space so i'm losing my light now so i'm going to call that it for this video um, but coming up i'm going to be painting installing flooring and lights so definitely check out my next video if you want to see that whole process so i'll see you then bye friends